Angels and the Boston Red Sox. First pitch coming at you right after the break. About to get started here, showing the slab in today's game. Cutter Crawford. Chris, what are you looking for from him? It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel. And that can make life very difficult on his opponents. Ready to go. Luis Renjifo gets a chance to hit here. The line of the pitch. And another ball. He swings through <laughs> Kicks and deals. Popped in the air. Left field. Makes the catch for the out. And there's one down. All right, let's take a look at the Angels lineup. This is an offense, Chris, that's having a hard time scoring runs right now. Yeah, sometimes things just aren't going to click, and unfortunately what happens is guys press, they try to do a little bit more, and they get out of their game. You've got to let the game come to you. If you chase it, it's going to run from you. So this is a team that just needs to calm down, relax, and understand that they're going to come out of this. And now here is Mickey Moniak. For whatever reasons, this is a hitter that performs better in night games. We'll see what he brings in this one. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Pull the string on the changeup. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the home field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Here's Trout. Just missed. Two ball, one strike. Two outs. Up and in, and that's ball three. And he grounds one to the right side. Finds its way through base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. And here is Taylor Wood. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Angels strand one, and now the Red Sox get their turn. No score. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back now at Fenway, and towing the slab in this one, Tyler Anderson. What do you have on him, Chris? Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may he lead on one out. or two pitches, well, no, right depending on how out. things are going and well, how things are working. Out. But if he can control yeah. four or even five of those oh, offenses, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. Sano throws the first in time. One gone bottom half of the first. Here's a check of the Red Sox lineup, put together by manager Alex Cora. Someone who makes things happen for them, in part with his legs, Jaron Duran. Big time speed here, Boog. A guy with just terrific wheels and an absolute nightmare for opposing pitchers when he's on base. I mean, players like this who have elite speed, it's like disruptive technology hey. on the base pass. Man, can't wait to watch him run. One ball, two strikes.
Swings and misses. Struck him out. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch. Now yeah, that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. Nothing doing for Boston. We played an inning. No score. Back here at Fenway, here's Miguel Sano. The third baseman, Miguel Sano. The line and the pitch. Swings and misses. And the count one and two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit. Just not able to square it up. And he deals. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Ground ball right side, no, no, and it no. goes just foul. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Swing and a miss struck him out. That's a pretty nasty pitch right there. I'd call it a power curveball in the 80s. It's got so much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. It was a good one for the swing and strikeout. Brandon Drury to the plate. One down, base is empty. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Had him out front for strike three. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Comes up empty. That's strike two. And a pitch. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. And the Angels are gone in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom half of inning number two. And now the first baseman, Tristan Casas. Two and one now. And oh, that's outside. That's and a foul ball. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. That one is blasted. Left field towards the monster. And it's off the green monster. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. In there. That's yeah. a double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer. And he hit the ball on the screws. Runner in scoring position now. And a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. And stepping in is the speedy Romy Gonzalez at the belt and fires. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Man at second. Three ball, two strike. 
Ed Drummond behind the plate calling balls and strikes. Maybe one of the most respected umpires around the league. He's not the kind of umpire that you're likely to notice back there. And that can be a huge compliment, really. So if you're just kind of quietly doing your job, staying consistent with your calls, hitters, pitchers, managers, even fans, they're all going to appreciate you. Ed Drummond, he's that kind of umpire. Got a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to play off some That's really good. close pitches and somehow, Boogie, he found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. The one two. And that skips in the dirt. Next pitch is outside, and it's a full count. Masataka Yoshida waiting to bat for the Red Sox. Casas, the lead runner out at second. Gonzalez at first with no outs. This one lifted in the air, left field. He's under it. And that is a big first out. That is tough. No left field. Two on, one out at the play. Masataka Yoshida. It's early, but these at-bats can impact the game just as much as they do later. Here's a chance to set the tone early for your team. Second inning here, no score. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Anderson ready to work. Grounded to third. Could be two. Sano over to second, and that's two. Well, we can never overstate it. Pitcher's best friend right there. Double play, gets out of the jam, saves some pitches. Top half of the Maybe third inning. Here's pitch. the Angels catcher, the catcher. Matt Thice. Matt. Nine. The pitch. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. Good job to fight that one off. Wings and lines a base hit into left field. So a man on base to start the inning. Everything came together for him. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on the line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Zach Neto, the next to hit for the Angels. Ball to strike. Two balls, one strike. Top of the third, no score. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. Yoshida going back, and it hits off the monster. Throw comes in, runner stop, second and third, nobody out. Back-to-back -back base hits. Anytime you smoke a ball off the wall, you kind of think about what it could have been. But obviously, you have to be happy with that result. Back to the top of the lineup. Luis Rangifo, the next to hit for the Angels. That one ripped. Calls it in. Gone away. Put a really good swing on that pitch and hit it all hard. You know, line drives don't always find a hole, but the more you can hit the ball like that with good exit velo, the better off you're going to be in the long run. So two in scoring position with one out. Mickey Monia, the next to hit for the Angels. Two on, one out. And another ball. But Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. The 2-1. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Oh. 
And here it comes. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's wrong. Right-hander kicks, deals. Base hit, one run is in. Throw comes in and holds the runner at third. They're at the corners now with still only one away. Big swing of the bat right there to give him the lead. That was clutch. Mike, just a solid swing right there. Caught it out fine and nipped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Runners at the corners here. One away. Here's Mike Trout. And the pitch. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Fouls it off, still one and two. Neto at third. Moniak over at first with one away. And that's downstairs and outside. Good miss with that changeup away. He needs a ball on the ground for a double play. Minimize the potential threat right here. On the hitter side, nice job of laying off that pitch. Tapped softly on the ground. Devers. Off balance beat. Out. There's one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. I promise you, they're guys that get a little bit faster when they can smell an RBI. Hey, that was a possible any oh. ending double play. Great hustle, and he gets rewarded with the RBI because of it. So here's the cleanup hitter, Taylor Ward. Ball to strike, the pitch, and it's fouled away. Fights it off, you'll see another. Two outs. And that's off the inside edge. And the count is even two and two. Struck him out looking. Fastball to letters frozen for strike three. But two runs for him and they jump ahead. We head down to the home half of inning number three. Angels two and the Red Sox nothing. Back here in Boston as we go to the last of the third. Here's the catcher, Connor Wong. Out to short, Neto. Gathers and throws to first. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Batting nine. The second baseman. Today, And now the rookie second baseman, Sidane Rafaela. The Red Sox down by a pair here in the last half of the third. So a foul ball makes it one and two. The pitch. And that just misses. It's a good take. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. The throw is still in time, and they get it out of the play. This is what it's all about on that right side of the diamond when you've got the first baseman involved and the pitcher as well. First baseman does a great job, knocks the ball down, gets away from a little bit, doesn't panic. The pitcher's exactly where he's supposed to be. Nice feed and a nice play for the out. Now batting Jaron Duran. Left-hand batter waits. Now this is in the air down the line. Ward sizing it up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is the third out of the inning. Back inside Fenway Park. Out of the fourth. Now the third baseman, Miguel Sano. So, Boog, you went to college in this town. What was it like for you being a college student and having the opportunity to bounce over here to Fenway Park and see some games? Yeah, in fact, 1990, a couple of college classmates and I, we were in oh. college. We bought standing room tickets, and then the next night the got a chance to see the Red Sox clinch the East in. against the White Sox Ooh. and that sliding catch in the corner by Tom Brodansky. The Red Sox would end up losing 
to the Oakland A's in the playoffs but that's one of the things that I'll think about in terms of memories from going to college and going to Fenway. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Makes the catch. That's out number two. The center fielder number seven. Joe. Here's Adele. Joe Adele. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. Next oh, pitch is great. outside. Boston's bullpen with some activity. A right hander is up and throwing. Two down, nobody on. And that drops in for a strike. That's a little bit low. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Two out spaces empty. Gets a piece and stays alive. 3 2. And that's, that's ball, ball four. four. Take the break. One of the things about that two out walk the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead so a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI and those are the best that is if you are the offensive side of it and a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Ground ball right side. The throw to first, and the inning is over. Angels leave one, but they hold a 2 nothing lead. Bottom four, Leading here's off. Tyler O'Neill. What about the fans at Fenway? Would they let you have it from time to time? They're definitely intelligent baseball fans, which is awesome. They're not. Now, this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. And caught on the warning track. Not quite enough behind that one. What a gutsy play. I always found that it was difficult because of such a wide warning track here at Fenway Park. To get back there, sometimes you don't know where you are. But with reckless abandon, he goes up and challenges the monster and comes down with an incredible catch. One down, base is empty. Good eye right there. One thing I found that was very cool was making a great play to end the inning and running off the field and getting a standing ovation even at times when you're not a player on their teams. As long as you're not winning, they will celebrate and applaud a great play on the field. These fans here, they love and respect baseball. And that's off the inside edge. And it's three and two. Got him looking, and he did not like the call. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Now batting Tristan Casas. This batter gets described as a homebody because he loves playing at home, and historically his numbers back it up. And now the lefty. Foul ball still, one and two count. Two outs. Three. Got him swinging. Red Sox go down quietly. They trail it here, two nothing. We're back, and there's a new arm on the mound to start the fifth. Number 63. He's pitching on two days rest. Zach Neto now at the plate. The short shot. Zach Neto.
The 2 1. And Three another ball. ball. Three two on the way. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the AB going. Here comes a pitch. The punch out there, and one gone. Luis Rangifo, the next to hit for the Angels. Luis Rangifo, and a pitch. A rope into right, and that's a base hit. Mickey Moniak, the next to hit for the Angels. Kicks and fires. Breaking ball inside. Two and two. Right-handed reliever. Got him looking. Two away. Well, that's a pitch. That slider from an opposite-handed pitcher that you usually see very well. But for some reason, he didn't pick it up. And it just kind of got into the strike zone late. Gave up on it a little bit early. One, one now. And another ball. One strike. Ring Ifo off of first with two away. Base stock center field. Lead runner makes the turn at second. And now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. All over that one right there. The Just a very one. nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the Ooh. field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. Taylor Ward, the next to hit. The 1-1. One -one. Slap the other way. Foul. is outside. Runners on first and third, two away, and we're at the top of the fifth. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. And the righty deals. On the ground to the left. Fires to first on the run. In time. Got him. And that'll do it. Angels strand a couple as they're unable to add to their 2-0 lead. Back here at Fenway. And now the shortstop, Romy Gonzalez. Not shortstop. The wind of the pitch. Nope, at the ball. You know, these Red Sox do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. Starter's leash has to be getting tighter with his pitch count where it is, but so oh. far he's been really effective in this one. Zips it to first, and the leadoff man yeah, set down in their half of the fifth. Pablo Reyes stands in. And the pitch. Fights that one away. Still one and two. And that's down and away. Two balls, two strikes. That one misses. Three and two down. The pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Now a screamer into the outfield. Ward makes the catch. And there's two down. 
up next to the right side. The left fielder. Here's the left fielder, Masataka Yoshida. Now this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. The 2-2 gets a check swing. Now an appeal to third. And he won a round. Not an easy call there, but that puts an end to the inning. Still nothing on the scoreboard for him after five. Angels two, and the Red Sox nothing. Back here in Boston, start of the six, John Chomby with Chris Singleton. And leading off, Miguel Sano. Swing went around one, one and two. Two strike. Ball Next right offering down. is outside. The other way, and it's caught for the out. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it the didn't produce a hit, but he made three, solid three. contact, Brand and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. And now, Brandon Drury. One down, base is empty. That Whoa, misses right off the down. outside edge. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Joe Adele will hit next. Two down, nobody on. And we're the top half of the sixth. On the ground to short. Gonzalez whips it to first on the run. They get the out, and that'll do it. Nothing doing here this half. 8-9-1 scheduled in the bottom of the sixth. Angels two, and the Red Sox nothing. Back in Boston, and here's off. the catcher, no, 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 no. Connor Wong. All well, these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner on. The pitch. Bows it off, still one and two. Fly ball to right. Settles under it. Falls it in for the out. Now that the second baseman. And here is Sidney Rafaela. Here's a 1-1. Left field, way back there. Good. Going back. Up against the wall and brings it in. Try to take on the wind in left field right there. Just a little too much traffic up in the air. Mother Nature won that one. It's hard to say, but I think that might be gone otherwise. So the Red Sox lineup turns over. Jaron Duran up next for the Red Sox. Up the middle, Neto on the run, throw to first, oh. on target. He got him. Nice play. So another good inning for him on the mound. Six shutout innings now. Angels two, and the Red Sox nothing. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound, Garrett Whitlock. This is his third time out this year. Matt Theis comes up to hit here. The catcher, the catcher. Matt Theis. Oh. Kicks and deals. 
That's and another ball. ball. And now it's filled up. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Here's the shortstop at the play. Zach Neto. And he deals. Pitch three misses ball. there. And the count is three and one. You know, these Angels, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. We've heard lots of loud noise coming from their bats in this one, haven't we? I mean, they've lost six hits at 90-plus exit velocity, and that doesn't happen by accident. Swings and lines one towards the gap. And that gets down for a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Two consecutive base hits for this team. And man, I'll tell you, a line drive like that into the gap just feels so good. It's feedback that you had everything on time and in control from start to finish with your swing. And next for the Angels, Luis Rangifo. And that'll Whoa. load the bases. A real bad time for a walk. You're trailing in this ballgame, trying to keep things close. They've been in a difficult spot, and things aren't getting any easier. So digging in, Mickey Moniak. The Halos trying to break this one open here in the top half of inning number seven. You need a strikeout, and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop-up, something, but you've got to make some pitches. But if he can battle and get through this, he can earn some points. And a swing and a miss. Huge strikeout there. Now Trout gets a chance to hit. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. At the dish, looking to hit the ball in the air in the spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. Foul ball still, a one and two count. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. All loaded up. Dangerous hitter at the plate. Not two even strikes. close there. Two balls, two strikes. On the ground a second. Might be two. There's one. Ow! The double play ends the inning and might have saved the game for them. Just trying to sneak one through with the bases loaded, but an excellent job by the defense to turn that one and get out of this jam. And we're back here at Fenway Park. Now it's the right fielder, Tyler O'Neill. And a one-two. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. Well, he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Felt like he now should have had him looking, I think. Base. But, you know, that's good composure oh, yeah. right there. He found a way to come Jabber. back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. Devers now. One down, base is empty. And there's a foul ball. One and two here. That's down and in. Activity in the bullpen for the Angels. Number 59. Preparing to come on if needed. Simber also throwing. Wouldn't chase that time. The Angels holding on to a two-run lead here at the bottom of the seventh. And Devers hits that one. Adele grabs it on the run. 
just about to hit that century mark of hundred pitches for this game. Tristan Casas up next for the Red Sox. The count two and one. Swing and a foul straight back. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Sano drifts towards it. And that is that. Down in order go the Red Sox. They trail things here 2 0. We go to the we eighth. Now the left fielder, Taylor Ward. Taylor, Taylor. Ward. Ward. The pitch. Just oh, missed. Close, but called a ball. Three and one. Righty delivers. Fastball for a strike. And it counts full. Well, he went inside a couple of times, and now outside. Hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. Devers. Slings it across. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. The third base. Miguel. So up next, Miguel Sano. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top of the eighth. A swing and a miss as he chases way out of the zone. On the ground to third, Devers. To first, two up, two down. Now back the first base. Brandon. Two outs, base is empty. Now here is Brandon Drury. That misses. Two and one. And another ball. Three balls, one strike. Next Aye. pitch in for a strike. Full count now. Got three and two. The right hander gives up the two out walk. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So all down the line or okay. into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Drury leads off first with two down to the inning. Out to short. Gonzalez. They take the That's force out. out, and that is the inning. So it's no runs, no base hits, no errors, and one man left. Last half of the eighth coming up. Angels two, and the Red Sox nothing. Bottom of the eighth. Leading now off. it's the shortstop, well, well, Romy Gonzalez. Not shortstop. The lefty fires. Ground ball up the middle, and he can't come up with it. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Tyler Anderson gives way. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Bullpen, number 59. He's making his fourth appearance of the season. Here now the Red Sox DH. Pablo Reyes. And a strike on the outside edge. The tying run at the plate. 
And a foul ball. He stays alive. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Tying run at the plate. Up the middle. Steps on the bag for one. A double play on the first battery. Faces in relief. Great job with the shortstop right there. Fields it, decides to take it himself. Second baseman can just chill out until the next play. Masataka Yoshida getting ready to hit. Two outs. And he pumps it a strike. Helpful. Side and that is ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, now, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. And that one fouled off. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. In time, the 2 3 strikeout ends the inning. And the Red Sox leave one, and they're down 2 0. We're back, it's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Greg Weiser. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Here's the catcher to hit, Matt Theis. The catcher, Matt Theis. The 1-1. One -one. Just missed. We got two balls, one strike. That one fouled off, two and two. Stays alive. Righty to the plate. And they'll do it again. At the belt and fires. Bounced out to short. Whips it to Casas. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. The battle. The short shortstop. Zach Neto. And now the shortstop, Zach Neto. Base is empty one away here at the top of the ninth. High chopper to third. Whips it to first. Two quick outs here in the top of the ninth. Running out of chances to pad the lead. Second base. Luis. Red and Rangifo. now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Luis Rangifo. The 2 1. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. In safely, it's a double at his second hit. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Man, that feels so good to shoot an absolute bolt the opposite way. Split the gap and know that you've got extra bases right off the bat. That's the kind of thing hitters dream about when they're falling asleep at night. Mickey Monia, the next to hit for the Angels. Left-hand hitter waits. 
Out to short. Whips it to oh. Casas. And that's the third out. So one hit is all they get. And 9 1 2 scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. Angels two and the Red Sox nothing. Back now and on the mound, the closer, Carlos Estevez. And I can't imagine any save is an easy one. You're holding a small lead on the scoreboard, Leading and off. you know those hitters are going to give you the best at bats the they can. Game. So it's Today. always high stress. Let's see what he's got here to try and close it out. That's off the mark, and a count two and one. And the right hander deals. Fouls one off. Two and two. Upstairs. Bounced up the middle. On the run, sends it over to Thank first. You, Not in time, he legs it out. It doesn't really matter where you are in the lineup. Your job is to get on base and try to start a rally if you're leading off an inning. So an infield single does the job right there. Now we'll see if they can make something happen. So the lineup flips over. Now here's the Red Sox leadoff hitter, Jaron Duran. Tying run at the plate. And that one in the air center field. Adele moves under it. Squeezes it. Now back, right fielder, Tyler. Oh, dear. So stepping in for Boston, Tyler O'Neill. Slider misses outside. And a pitch. Lined into right. It gets down base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. First and second, one out. Now it's Devers at the plate. Swing and a miss. Now one and two. One ball, two straight. Struck him out looking. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third no, strikeout, and this one no, looking, no. obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. No, no, no. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Adam Simber on the pitch here. These are the spots where levers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. So it's their last chance in this one. And next for the Red Sox, Tristan Casas. So the tying run at second. That's ball two. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Two and one now. Two aboard. Nope. Just missed. Get ready for some action here. Good RBI guy at the plate. Runners in scoring position. And a hitter's count. Romy Gonzalez on deck for Boston. Swing and a drive. Deep right field. Way back there. That skips over the front. So it's an automatic double. As a run scores on the play. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet. 
knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. Romy Gonzalez digs in now. Swing and a miss as he was late. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. The Red Sox down to their final strike. In the air to left center. He's got it. Ball game. And the Angels strand the tying run on base to win it. The ball for his first career save deserves to be on display at his house. I mean, it's kind of like when a restaurant frames its first dollar bill somewhere on a wall. You just can't forget your first save. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Angels.